Well, good morning, boys and girls. Today's journey, I'm coming to you from Baltimore, Maryland. And we're, uh, as you can see right behind me, is the World War II Liberty ship of the SS John Brown. Pan around here and show it to you. Yep, you want to follow me, we'll go inside and take a look around. Right, right beside it, some kind of ship. It's uh, a Savannah. And then there's the Port of Baltimore. All these cranes used to uh, unload huge cargo ships, the big containers. And we'll go up, up these stairs here momentarily. Hi, uh, Bob. Hi, Good, how are you? All right, here we go inside. We got birthing areas here. Stack of rifles. There's a uh, okay, here's the loan sailor cardboard cutout. Now we're in the museum here. Go inside here. Special winter clothing. You can put that on pause and read it if you want. As during the Battle of the Atlantic, during World War II, it was just bitter cold. Had ice all over the ships and huge icicles. There's a Navy sea bag and hammock roll. Quarters and watch duty stations list. Recruiting poster, 1941. Signal flags. There's a signal lamp. Put that on pause and read it if you want. Ammunition for three inch 50 caliber guns. And here we got a magazine for our 20 millimeter anti aircraft guns. You can see a 20 millimeter round in there. 
Here's the projectile for a five inch gun. The inches meeting the diameter of the barrel. There's the different 20 millimeters. Black is armor piercing, light gray is high explosive with a tracer. White would be a high explosive without a tracer. Red would be a high explosive incendiary. And the dark green gray would be a blind loaded for training purposes. The asbestos gloves, a blue jackets manual. Cracker Jack uniform. Commission officer's blue coat. Sorry about the glare. Headphones. Battle announcement system equipment. And white summer uniform. Rating patch, that would be a radio in third class. Commission officer and signal would be a lieutenant junior grade. And here we got the contents of a locked foot, well, not a foot locker, but a locker. Defensive guns of the USS John Brown. Got a five inch gun. Another five inch gun. 20 millimeter. Three inch 50 caliber gun. A nice paintings. Here's a piece of fragment from a kamikaze attack. There's a German national war flag. There's a model of a U-boat, Type 7 submarine, Craig's Marine U-boat coat. There's a fragment of a downed German aircraft. There's a model of a JU-87 Stuka dive bomber. A Luftwaffe enlistment's belt and buckle. There's a model of a U-124 Type non B there's a Jap Mitsubishi Zero Fighter and there's a poster of a Japanese aircraft identification chart. And here we got a Jap flag, the rising sun and here's a identification for a Jap ships the hair got the dress blues cracker jacks that's world war ii and here we got silver star bronze star purple heart and victory medal there's a Radio message to the ships at sea of the surrender of Japan. Radiograph. And here's a Navy talker helmet. U.S. Navy issue fighting knife. And we got the light vest. And they would put these lights on their life vest. And someone made an ashtray. And 
And right in here we got some models. And some more models. The glares are getting bad. Gas mask. Baseball and the glove. Game of checkers to pass time. Recreation and welfare gear. Magazines, books, cards. And here's something interesting. It's uh, a bunch of knots framed. It's for three inch 50 caliber guns. They're just made out of wood. So the sailors can practice loading. It's a training camp newspaper from 1944. And some pictures of classroom instructions. Armed guard schools. Navy practice bomb filled with water or sand. Vince gun bore brush used to clean the inside the barrels. Twelve foot long. All right, now we're going into the chapel. Nice mirror on the wall. United States Navy National Armed Guard Museum. Here's nautical brass. Just a bunch of plaques. Got clocks. Guns of stuff in here made out of brass. Pressure vacuum gauges. And now we're going into the Merchant Marine Museum on board. Not really too much in here. Logging in on Tuesday, July 20th, 1943. 
bunch of paperwork. More photos on the wall. Here's the deck log. Some chow trays are used. And then down here, I guess, for the family fun weekend. For Glare's not, or uh, glare's pretty bad in here today. Thumbs up and fit for for duty. All right, so now we're on top side. I'm gonna walk walk the deck up here, back and forth on top. I'll show you around a little bit. All right, let's go. Hey, check out the big anchor. Get another big gun on the back of it here. All right, here we go. We're on top, walking around now. There's a nice little pinup painting they did on the ship. It's 
quick look around at the harbor here. Tugboats down there. There's the breach where you load the gun. Gunner on the right side. Like the same one on the other side. Part of the anchor system. All right, that that'll do it for my video today. If, if you like my video, please hit the like button, ring that notification bell, and please subscribe to my channel. Until then, we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.